Alright, good morning YouTube. Well, this morning we are working on changing this accelerator pedal position sensor. That's the wrong way. So, start off, we got six 10 millimeter bolts. Three on top, looks like three on the bottom. So we'll get these out of the way. So we should be able to just pop them right out. Hopefully I don't lose any of them. Now if you seen yesterday's video, you would have seen what the symptoms are that I'm having. Basically what's happening is when my truck revs around like 15 to 1700 RPM, well actually it's like 13 to 1700 RPMs, and it stays there for a certain time, the pedal goes dead. I mean, it's more annoying than anything, but we're going to fix that right here, right now. Uh, let's see, I ordered the sensor off of Gino's Garage. It was $170. It may sound kind of expensive, but if you priced out the Mopar Cummins sensor, it's cheap. Uh, the Mopar Cummins sensor is like... Four hundred dollars, I think. If I remember right, I know it was real expensive, and I wasn't gonna pay that much for it. But yeah, this is a aftermarket sensor. I can't remember who makes it. Um, I'll try and put the link in the description. This one's kind of a pain. See if I had new uh, intake gaskets. I'd... Shit, I just pulled that intake horn right off there, but I don't, so we're not. sensor. Say hopefully these aren't Loctite, but I think they might be. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any of my T20 bits, so I'm stuck with this. And all kinds of Torx bits, but a T20. Just oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, thank God for a big ass steering box, I guess.
Now the sensor does come with uh, some screws, so if you fuck up your uh, the T20 torque screws that come that are on the sensor originally, don't really worry about it too much. As long as you can get them out, that's the big deal. Yellow Loctite. Some good shit, but anytime you want to buy it, well, anytime I went to go buy it, you can't find it. I don't know, it must just be a. Uh... Loctites that are specific for, you know, like automotive industry where only they get their hands on it. Alright, this one's going a lot easier. Okay. There it is. That is our stock sensor. Okay, the idle voltage is 0. 0.551 DC. Let's see if I can catch that. Come on, focus. Yeah, you can't really see it, but it's 0. 0.551 volts DC, so. We'll have to remember that. This is the sensor that you get from Gino's garage. Looks alright. Um, for some reason they put heat shrink on it and they didn't shrink it. I'm not sure why, but figure it's on there, might as well shrink it myself, so I did. Okay, now before we go any farther. you to probe this paper clip that they supply down into the number three. There we are. We're in. Okay. Okay. Let's try to line this up. 